Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele and I am back with another super delicious recipe. We're making plantain and egg pizza or plantain frittata, whichever way you want to call it. You would love this. Not just you, but the entire family. Let's get right into the video. We're going to begin by peeling and cutting our nicely washed plantains. And you always want to wash your plantains before peeling and cutting because as you see, while peeling, your hand will go from the back of the plantain to the food itself and you don't want to get dirt onto the food that you would be enjoying later. We'll then go ahead and cut it into rounds. You may cut any shape you like, but rounds are preferred for this recipe. And then we're going to go ahead and season it with some salt. I also like to drizzle a little bit of water over it to melt the salt quicker and then we'll toss or mix everything together meanwhile i have some oil already on fire so by now it is nice and hot so we'll transfer our plantains into the oil and we're going to go ahead and fry it until it is nice and golden brown while that is going on we're going to get started with our eggs so in a pan i'm going to add in some coconut oil you may use any oil of your choice or butter okay once our oil melts beautifully we're going to go ahead and add in our veggies and i'm using some onions and bell peppers okay you may add any vegetable of your choice i'm keeping it simple with just bell peppers and onions i'll season it with some all-purpose seasoning and also salt to taste give everything a good stir and sure that this tastes really really good especially if you're like me and you will not be adding any salt to your eggs turn the fire low and allow this to cook for just about 30 seconds while we go ahead to prep our eggs now you could go ahead and scramble your eggs but i like to see some white in my pizza or frittata so i just break the yolks up a little bit pour it over your veggies stir everything together cover it and continue cooking this on very low heat okay you can also go ahead and pour your veggies into the eggs and stir everything together especially if you're using a pan that is not non-stick because we want to be able to get this out of the pan back to check on our plantains they are nice and golden so we're going to get it out onto a paper towel lined plate to get rid of any excess oil and then we'll separate it we do not want these plantains to stick together but please ensure that it is cool enough for your hands to handle i'm able to do it right out of the oil it burns a little but we're kind of used to that i mean i don't know but i'm not afraid of hot stuff but if you are let it cool a little bit but once it cools completely you may have a hard time separating it and that may end up causing your presentation not to be as nice so for me, as soon as it comes out of the oil, I'm going to separate it and set it aside. Now back to our eggs, which have been cooking on very, very low heat. Once you see a whitish ring forming around the edges, it means it is ready to receive your plantains. So we're going to place the plantains in and then we'll cover it up to cook it. You may wonder why I didn't add the plantains in from the very beginning. Now, when you place the plantains into the eggs that are uncooked, they have a tendency of sinking to the bottom but when the bottom is a little solid then it is able to hold your plantains above the eggs you don't want this to be done and you have eggs over the plantains and then you don't have a beautiful 
presentation. Now, if you choose to finish this off in the oven, then after you've placed everything on, then you can transfer it into your oven and finish it off over. But for those of us that may not have ovens, we're going to make the entire thing on our stove top. Keep it on low, low, low and cook it until you can see all the eggs are fully cooked just like this. Mm, mm, mm. Garnish it with some spring onions and for a little bit of heat, sprinkle some crushed pepper flakes over it. That's for us that love spiciness. But if you don't, skip it. But trust me, it makes it look so beautiful. Everybody in your household would enjoy it. Now, all that is left is for us to serve and enjoy. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and are inspired to try the recipe. If you do, tag me on Instagram so I can share it to my story. Until I see you in the next one, stay safe, keep loving each other, and remember that the love of God and family is life's greatest blessing. And guys, ke unamini uchemi suite mahabutu. Bye y'all. Continental food, madam. Food, madam. International food captain. Who show you how to make pizza? Sushi and pastries, all this and more. Sweet Ajay.